Kim Holman has studied the Arctic from the Norwegian island of Svalbard for 30 years. The changes in Svalbard are profound, large and rapid. Uh, it uh, will continue, unfortunately, it will be a very different Arctic. Arctic sea ice has receded by 12% a decade since 1979. And this year has witnessed record heat, prompting renewed warnings that temperature rises will cause irreversible climate change. But the climate agenda is competing with major powers looking to exploit the Arctic as a commercial shipping route and source of oil. Scientists at the Arctic Futures 2050 conference say the fate of this part of the world has huge implications for the entire planet. We don't think of ourselves as an Arctic nation. The United States doesn't. I know Canada does. I know Norway does. I know many of the eight Arctic nations, yes, they think of themselves as an Arctic nation, and so they're willing to put resources, they're willing to put effort into the necessary things that make life in the North very livable and, and invest in a way that really makes a difference. And yet finding a consensus on limiting global warming is proving difficult after the US, the world's second worst polluter, pulled out of the international accord on climate change. Owen Fairclough, CGTN.